Joe Swinson. Number 19, Mr Speaker. Action and policy interventions include Agenda for Change, which aims to bring fairer pay to over one million non-medical staff in the NHS, including women. The Local Government's Pay and Workforce Strategy addresses the causes and effects of occupational segregation on the gender pay gap. I am also pleased to say all government departments and agencies have completed equal pay reviews. Joe Swinson. The Equal Pay Act was introduced 30 years ago, yet we still have an 18% gender pay gap. I would have thought the government would be taking every possible opportunity to redress this injustice. So can the Minister tell me why, in the forthcoming Equality Bill, public bodies will only be required to have a pay policy in place without explicitly being required in the Bill to take action to close the pay gap? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The, the issue of, of the pay gap is enormously important, and it would be wrong to say that progress hasn't been made. Considerable progress has been made, and the pay gap um, now is 17% at the average, but uh, uh, down to 13% at the median. In the um, Equality Bill, what we're looking at is a public sector duty which will look at promoting equality in all sorts of ways, including in pay. The uh, work which will be done on pay will begin to make a difference, but it's only one aspect which we're looking at. As I've already said, the Local Government uh, Pay and Workforce Strategy is about addressing the causes and effects of occupational segregation, which we know is one of the main drivers of the gender pay gap. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.